Hello, Nancy. Oh, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Fine, very good. <laughs> Excellent, glad to hear that. Perfect. Yes. We're going to wait for a couple of more people and then we can start, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Welcome, Thanks. Saul. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you today, Saul? What? How are you today? I, I'm fine. Okay, perfect. Glad to hear that. Perfect. And you, teacher, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> fine. Ready for the class? Okay. Yeah, just ready. Ready to start with the class. We finished this week and it's going to be a short week. Yes. Siento que no nos va a alcanzar. Yeah, we finished. Oh. <laughs> it's very fast. Yes, we run with this class. I think we're going to start. Okay, let me start with this. Do you practice the information on the on the on the on the portal? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, how many sections? Good evening, Angel. How many sections have you completed so far? Section one, two, three, or all of them? Um, section four. Section four. Section four and section four. Okay, very good. Very good. And what about you, Saul? How many sections? Hmm. Not there? Okay. No, no worries, no. Saul. Okay, and well, let's start because I, I already have three people here, so I would like to start. And we're going to review a little bit of what we did last week, right? Do you remember the propositions that we practiced last week? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. What about you, Angel? Yes, teacher, I practice. And okay. the platform is here. Okay, perfect. That's great, that's great. So let's start here. And I would like you to tell me because we, we were working with this, right? We were working with a map. And you were supposed to work. Can you see my, my, my screen? Yes? No? 
Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Welcome, Jesse. So now we're going to start here right now. And I need you to first tell me what are the prepositions that you remember? Right? What prepositions do you remember? Puede contestar cualquiera. Yeah. On. Uh, okay. On. Okay. What in. else? In. Uh -huh. At. 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 Okay. Across. In A front of. Across. In Be front of. Okay. In behind. Behind. Next okay. to. Next to. Next to. Okay, one more. Between. Between. Okay, very good. So these are examples of uh, prepositions that we can remember, right? Prepositions that we can remember. Now, I'm going to put it here. So here, right, we were working with some prepositions in the previous class, right? Can you see yes. the, the screen? Yes, teacher. yes. Okay, very good. So these were the prepositions and we were working with maps, right? But look at this picture right now. We have picture A and we have also picture uh, B, right? We have picture A and picture B. In this picture, we can say in picture A, there's a, we can say there's a laptop on the floor, for example. Right, and there's a, an umbrella, right, on the table, right? What I'm else can you say that. using these prepositions? We're gonna make a quick review. The, there is a dustbin uh, next to the desk. There is a? Dustbin, a dustbin, basurero? A trash can. Uh, Trash? Trash can. Trash, Trash can. can next to the desk. Okay, very good. I'm gonna put this right here on the on the chat. Trash can. Okay, very good. There's a trash can next to the desk. Right now we're just practicing prepositions. Okay, very good. Another person for picture B also or picture A. We have preposition, the most common prepositions on next to, under, behind, in front of, right? So let's see another person. Cellular, cellular, under, in the table. Okay, in which picture, A or B? A. In picture A, okay, there's a cell phone cell under phone. The, the table. Okay, very good, perfect. Okay, another person. Okay. And I see more people here. I have Esmeralda, Gladys, Jesse, Saul. Sure. Okay, more examples. We're just practicing the, 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 the prepositions. Remember that the prepositions, they, ha they have a specific uh, purpose, right? When we have prepositions, these are the locations, right? So we're practicing that in this picture. Así recordamos cuál es la, la función principal de las preposiciones. Right, so tell me, another, another example. Esmeralda? Hi, teacher. Um, there is a shoe on the bed, on their bed. Okay, there's a shoe under the bed. In picture A, right? In picture A. In picture A, yeah. There's a shoe under the bed. Very good, Esmeralda. Another person here. Gladys. Hello. Hello, Gladys. Um, letter B. Mm -hmm. Laptop on the table. There's a laptop on the table. Very good. Perfect. You see the laptop here? Very good. Another one? Let's see. I have another person here. Uh, Miguel? Hello, good night. Good evening, Miguel. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, perfect. We're practicing with prepositions, okay? 
So I okay. made an example. For example, uh, Nancy says, there is a cell phone under the, the, the desk or under the table in picture A. Gladys says, there is a shoe under the bed, right? So Esmeralda says, there's a laptop on the table on picture B. What do you think? Another example? Um, uh, it has the book on their bed. Okay, there is a book under the bed. Very good. One more, and they will find. What is the umbrella on, in picture B? What is the umbrella? Tell me the location of the umbrella. Next to. Next to the. ¿Cómo se dice libra? Okay, shelf. 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 It's next to the shelf. Okay, very good. But what else is there? Or between. Between. Okay, between the shelf and. And. How do you call this this object? And the chair. Very good. Okay, the umbrella is between the the shelf and the chair. Very good. Right. So you see, we have different uh, locations, and this is an, this is not a map, right? Entonces podemos ver que las proposiciones las podemos utilizar para describir la locación de objetos también, no solamente para dar direcciones, right? Okay, very good. Do you have a question about this activity? Um, teacher, ¿cómo yes. se pronuncia silla? Chair. Sure. Share. Yes, share. Share. Okay. Look at this. Thank you. And that's the spelling. Share. Teacher. Yes. How do you say um, the table? Donde están los libros? Mm -hmm. The shelf. No, like in the wall. After shelf. That way you can use that too. Shelf. Shelf. Mm -hmm. Shelf. It's where you where the the it's like the furniture that you use to put the books, right? That's a um, shelf. Mm -hmm. Good. You mean this one, right? It's the yes. same. Yes. And this one will be the same, right? Okay. Good question. <laughs> okay. Any more questions, guys? No. Sure. Do you have more questions? No. No, teacher. Okay. So let's go ahead and keep on working here. We're going to practice. With. Uh, maps. You were supposed to practice right using the prepositions, the location of uh, four places right. So. If I have this place, this map, right? And I have here, for okay. example, can you see the map? Yes? Yes, yes teacher. I have First yes. Avenue, I have Main Street, Second Avenue, Pine Street, Maple Avenue. And I have different places here, right? So we have here a library, gas station, shopping center, uh, what places are these, Nancy? This is post a? office in Main Street. Okay. Post office. Okay. Can Just you tell me? Can you tell me just the name of the places? Jim. Sorry. Can you tell me Jim? the name of the places? Jim. Joyce. Jim. Jo Joyce. Joyce. Jim. Joyce. Jim. Okay. What about this one? Oh, day department store. Oh, day's department store. Okay, very good. And we have more places, right? So tell me, tell me uh, where uh, it's the bank. Where is the bank? Let's see here. Vamos a practicar lo que lo que se va a dar. Okay, okay. Where is the, but tell me the answer, tell me the answer with the information that you practice, right? Because last week we practiced the locations, right? 
So let's see the locations. How will you give a location here? How would you give a location? We practice with prepositions, right? And we said, for example, uh, the bank is between the supermarket and the shoe store, right? That's what we practiced last week. So I need you to remember, right? So tell me, right, where is the bank? Using prepositions. The next to the Princess Grocery Store. Okay, the bank is? Next, the Princess Grocery Store. Okay, very good. Look at this. The bank is next to Two? Next the, to princess the Princess Grocery princess Store. Grocery Store. Okay, very good. That's what I need, right? Very good. This is one example. What is the proposition in this sentence? Let's see if you can remember. What is the next preposition? To, next, 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 next to. Next to. Next to. Very good. That's the preposition. Next to. Very good. So let's follow this example. Let's follow the example that Nancy gave us. Tell me where is the electronic store? Let's see. One volunteer. One volunteer. Yes, the electronic store. Okay, Saul. Oh, yes. Miguel. Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry, sorry. On his own post office. Mm, but that would mean that it's on. Remember the it's meaning across. of on? Next okay. Two. Okay. Next one two. at a time. First. Behind post office. Una a la vez. 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 <laughs> una la vez. First, uh, Saul, okay. And then Miguel. Miguel, what's your answer? Uh, next to electronic store. Okay, give me a complete sentence. The past, okay. The electronic store is? Behind to office. Behind. Okay. Behind, atrás. Okay, solo uno a la vez. ¿Quién va a hablar? Nancy, let's go with Nancy first. Electronics store behind is this post office. Okay, Nancy, the complete answer. The electronic store is uh -huh. behind the post office. Okay, very good. The electronic store is behind the post office. That's one option. Very good. Miguel, tell me the other option. You say across from. So remember that across from means this, right? The yeah. first okay, avenue. so Miguel, tell me the answer. The electronic is across from gas station. It's across from the gas station, very good. So let's see here, uh, Jesse, Jesse, where is the grocery store? Look at the picture. Okay. This Joyce. The, no, the grocery store. Where is the grocery store? I'm asking for this grocery store. Mm -hmm. Where is the grocery okay. store? I can see grocery store. First, first. You cannot see it. Look at the map. Look at the places. Uh -huh. Look at there. Where is it? Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. It's near a bank. Okay, Esmeralda? Next to a bank. Esmeralda, go ahead. Yes, next to... What is next to the bank? The grocery store. Okay, complete sentence. The grocery store. The grocery store is next to a bank. Next to the bank. Okay. The bank. Next to the bank. Okay. Very good. Where is the hotel? Angel. Yes. The Where is hotel. the hotel? The hotel. 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 Mm -hmm. hotel. 
the hotel is in front of the First National Bank. The hotel is in front, is of... In front of the First National Bank. Okay, very good, very good. So here we have one in front of the First National Bank. Okay, very good. But look at the picture. Is there any other hotel? Yes, there yes. are two hotels. Very good, Miguel. There are two hotels. Tell me the other the other direction. Where is the other hotel? Where is Jameson Hotel? The hotel is next to Main Avenue. Next to Main Avenue. Mm, but where is Main Avenue? Jameson Hotel is in Second Avenue. Okay, is on Second Avenue. It's on Second Avenue here, the hotel, or is on Pine Street? Pine Street. Pine, Pine Street. Street. Pine Street. Jameson Hotel is on Pine Street. Okay, Pine very good. Street. Pine Street. Look at this. Okay. Si me mandan para acá, aquí ya me perdí. Me llegué aquí. Ya me perdí, ya no llegué al hotel. ¿Sí? Right? Okay. Porque me envían para acá. Right? But there are two hotels. Right? Si me envían al Main Street, me voy a ir para acá. Right? Y aquí And ya no hay hotel. Park. Me voy a quedar en el parque. <laughs> okay. A sleep in the park. It's to sleep in the park. No, uy, me va a saltar. Okay. Very good. So, where, are, where is the drugstore, people? One more. What is the drugstore? Where is the drugstore? The princess. The drugstore parker between top shoes. Uh -huh. Between top shoes and? Mom's grocery. Mom and pop's grocery. Okay, very good. Mom's and pop's grocery. The Okay, Parker's Drug Store is between Mom and Pop's Grocery and Top Shoes. Okay, very good. You see? Okay. We have two places, right? Okay, very good. So, is it difficult for you to give locations? So, so? Yes, it's difficult. <laughs> it's yes. a little bit difficult, right? Yeah. It's a little bit difficult. That's why today we're going to practice a little bit more right? Because you were supposed to, to do homework, right? Let me see here. Give me one second. You were supposed to complete this activity, right? Did you complete this activity with this map? I yes. sent you this map to your WhatsApps last week. Do you remember? Yes. Okay, very good. So since we remember this map, right, you miss, yes, it's regency. So we're, we were supposed to answer these, these questions, and we were supposed to answer this. We're going to do this right now. For example, we're going to use the same map, right? We're going to say, uh, where is the drugstore in the map, right? We're going to do the same activity. Vamos a utilizar el mismo mapa que les mandé la semana pasada. First, you are going to share the answers for your homework, right? Vamos a compartir en equipo las, las respuestas de estas preguntas, de este ejercicio, right? That's the first thing. Second activity, is that you are going to ask questions to your classmates. For example, you can say, Nancy, where is the park? Uh, Saul, where is the shoe store, right? And we're going to look at the map, right? And we're going to answer, right? Where is the post office? Where is Second Avenue Bookstore, right? Vamos a utilizar esta pregunta, where is the park? Y vamos a utilizar la misma estructura que ya practicamos para responder, right? Primero, Compartimos las respuestas de la actividad, de la, de, la, de la tarea, right? Usamos el mismo mapa de nuevo y vamos a compartir esta parte, right? We're going to share this activity, 
for this uh, activity, we're going to have pretty much uh, five minutes, right? I'm going to give you five minutes for you to share your answers and two minutes to create more information, right? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Si? ¿Sí? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, only Nancy. What about the others? Is it clear? Yes, yes, yes. Yes? Okay, are we sure? Yes. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and share the answers from your homework. Si no las tienen, ya las vamos a hacer todos juntos, okay? En los grupos. We're going to work with groups of three, right? Three people per group. So let's go ahead and have your homework ready. ¿Ya tienen todos listos su tarea? Sí, no, maybe. ¿Tienen listos su tarea? Yes, okay, very good. So let's start. Okay, please join your groups so we can start the activity. Please join the group, join, join, join the group, please. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Nancy, Jessica, Miguel, Saul. Hello. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Qué miedo. Are you ready? <laughs> Any questions? Mm. I don't know. No? Okay. So let me listen to your answers. Ya les envié la última imagen con la última actividad. Así que veamos sus respuestas, comparemos. Ahorita. Ahorita. <laughs> right now, right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Ahorita, okay. Putualito. <laughs> oh, eh, eh, es, son las oraciones que puso la semana pasada. De la tarea es que van a hacer ustedes, correcto. The, the coffee shop is on the second avenue, is across from the choose store. Okay, it? yeah, exactly. But remember okay. to make a pause. Miguel, cuando lea, cuando lea entre oraciones, haga una pausa. Okay, usted está leyendo. Tengo que respetarlo, yeah. La puntuación, para que le entienda. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good, perfect. Entonces los dejo, voy a otro grupo, okay? I'll be back. Okay. Let's share okay. the answers. Okay. Tenemos dos actividades que hacer por el momento. Let's get to work. Trabajemos. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, okay niñas. Yo no sé. The gas station is next to the doctor hospital. Ah, no, no, no. The parking no. lot. The parking lot. Parking lot. The parking lot. Exactly. Parking lot. Parking lot. In pronoun. In front of. Lot. It. It's. It's. On. The, uh, the parking. It's on first and center. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Aunque no esté seguro, ahorita estamos aprendiendo, así que dígalo con seguridad. Is... <laughs> it's on is... first and center. Yes, it's on first. Okay. <laughs> yes. Four, como dice. Four sentences, the, four. The post office is... Office. The post office. The post office is on Center Street. Is on yes. Center Street. And Center on Second say in the sentences, teacher. Uh -huh. Center in yeah. Second. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. To walk. <laughs> um. Okay. 
can, it, can I say, can I say, and I what the gas station, uh, the post office is on the corner of on the corner second? Is that correct? Yes, uh, corner of. Okay, corner. very good. That's uh, another option. Okay, very good. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yep. Corner of is esquina. Mm -hmm, exactly. Oh, thanks. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> You're very good. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ahí sería, On the corner of. That's another corner option. Of. Yes. Corner of the hospital. And, and mm, in the end of four okay. sentences, the two part uh, it's, it's the hospital it's, it's next mm -hmm. to the hospital what's next to the hospital and the post office teacher. the post office the post office the okay. next to the it okay tienen que, 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 que crear la oración siempre no. recuerden okay siempre recuerden que tienen que crear la oración right tienen que crear. yes yes Eh, por ejemplo, si quieren mencionar el, el, el lugar, right? the post office is next to, right? For example, right? Next to the, um, the, the what? Let me see. It's next to the hospital, right? Next to the hospital. Pero tienen que decir la oración en el, en el orden correcto. No pueden decir uh, post office next to, no. Siempre tienen que utilizar el verbo para que vaya entendiendo la, la oración correcta, right? It's very, very important. Okay. Okay, teacher. Right? Okay. Is very good. Another example? Um, okay. The five. Uh -huh. Saul, I haven't heard Saul. Saul, are you there? The bank is, the bank is. Oigamos a Saul, Saul. Between. Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry. Estaba hablando en voz alta. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. The bank is between the restaurant. The rest main Maria se ve que no veo. <laughs> Maria restaurant and the department store. And the department store. And okay. the department store. Department store. Very good. That's where you have Citibank. Okay, very good. Main Street. It's on Main Street. On Main Street. On Main Street. On Main Street. Okay, very good. Do you have questions? Um. 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 O sea que cuando Cuando dice it, se está re refiriendo a lo al que lugar. se habló. Ajá, al lugar que se habló anteriormente, ¿verdad? Exactamente, por eso es que no podemos decir de un solo it, porque necesitamos it, it, mencionar el lugar primero y luego hacer referencia al lugar. It es un pronombre, ¿verdad, Ticha? What? It es el pronombre que está sustituyendo al sujeto de la oración anterior, ¿verdad? For example, I will say, I'm going to look at my phone because that's where I have the, the places. Oh. Here are the places I have. The department store, the department store is in the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Right? Yeah. Then the second sentence is, it's next to Citibank. Right? Entonces, en vez de decir, the department store de nuevo, ya digo, it's, right? Que ya sería it. Okay. Ya sería eh, the department store, pero ya hacemos la referencia que nos estamos uh, refiriendo, valga la redundancia, a algo que ya mencionamos. Right? Ya okay. se dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, and that sí. we already mentioned, exactly. Okay? okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so lo tengo, good. voy al yes. último grupo. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Uh, Nancy, hello, Nancy. Across front. Center and second. Center and second. Do you have questions? Hi. Next, next to center, center and second, it's next to the hospital. 
Aham, uhum, isso, né? Do you have questions? No, teacher. No? Teacher. No, estamos batallando. <laughs> I know it's a little bit difficult, but that's why we're practicing. I'm sending another picture right now, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Yeah, we we'll realize. <laughs> no, <teacher. laughs> it's so difficult, teacher. Right? But so that's why we need to practice, right? That's why we need to practice. Do you have a question right now? No? Ya casi termina? Ya casi. Ya casi. Okay. Very good. I'll give you one more minute, okay? Okay. Thank you. The first and yeah, the post. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, so let us let us see the answers that you have, right? That you have come up with. So let's see what's going on there, okay? You have this, right? And let's see what are the responses that you have. Right? What do you have for number uh well? Number one, it says the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's, and we have the map, right? What would be the answer for the map? Using the map. Across. It's across the shoe store. From. Across from the shoe store. Is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. Yes? Is that correct, everyone? <laughs> hmm? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes. Very good. Yes. Very good. yes. <laughs> Let's see number two. Who wants to try with number two? The movie theater. Is next. Look at this. Next. The, next. the answer. Is the the okay, one person, one person. Miguel, okay, I can see Miguel here popping up. Okay, Miguel, the movie theater. On the corner of the park on Main Street. Uh-huh. Across from the park. It's across, it's, no se les olvide esto. Uh, sorry. It's mm -hmm. across from the park. It's across from the park. Okay, very good. Uh, I was listening to Nancy, I think, or Gabby. I don't know which one was. Who was there? Nancy or Gabby, number three? Uh, the gas station is in front of. It's on first and center. It's, okay, the gas station is... In front of. In, of. in front of what? The parking lot. Uh -huh. it, it's on first and center. 
It's on first and center. Is that correct, everyone? Is that correct, everyone? Todos, está bien eso? Quiero ver. Off, off the corner. Ok, hagamos una cosa, hagamos una cosa. Todos pongamos atención a la respuesta que nuestros compañeros están dando para verificar si les podemos ayudar, right? Si les podemos right. ayudar. Si está perfecto, decimos todo correct, right? There's no problem. Cuando termine de leer acá, decimos correcto. If not, we can give more answers. Remember that we may have different options. Podemos tener diferentes opciones, yeah. right? No tiene que ser exactamente la que tenemos nosotros, pero puede que sea otra versión correcta. That's why you need to pay attention, right? So, Gaby, please read again your answer for number three. And the gas station is in front of the parking lot. It's on first and center. Okay, okay. So, what do you think? Is it okay? Everyone, is it okay? Yes, yeah, okay. Sure. It's okay. Okay, very good. Now, number four. Very good, Gabby. Number four, let's see here. I want to listen to Jessica. Jessica, number four. The post office. Jessica, I'm sorry, but you're cutting off. Jessica se le está cortando. One more time, again. Ahora? Now it's better, yes. <laughs> the post Vegas office? Station, the post office. Mm -hmm. The post office on the corner of center, center and second is. Mm -hmm. It's uh, next, it's next to the hospital. It's next to the hospital. Is that correct, everyone? Is that correct? Uh, the post office is across from, maybe. Across from? Across from what? Center and second. Across from center and second. But center and second are, is, they are streets. So you cannot be across from. Recuerden que across from significa que está algo así. Aquí hay un lugar y aquí hay un lugar. Is, center and second is a corner. Is the post office is on the corner of center and second. Very good. It's on person center. It's on. It's next to the hospital. Okay. Very good. Right. Recuerden across from tienen que tener dos lugares uno enfrente de otro. Sin embargo, estas son calles. Right. Como son calles, esta es una calle, esta es la otra, no se puede decir across from, right? Usando las calles, okay. Number five, let's see number five. Who wants to try? Let's see here, Angel. Okay, teacher. The van is between the restaurant and the department store. It's on the main street. It's on the main, main street. street. No tiene que ponerle esto. It's on okay. Main Street. It's on Main, main street. street. Very good. Okay. It's on Main Street. Very good. So these are the answers. Is it difficult? Yes. Dice, mm -hmm. Ese último ejemplo que puso, que no tenía que poner el D, es cuando se refiere a calle principal. No. Lo o, que pasa, o sobre calle. No. Lo que pasa es que como salvadoreños, sobre utilizamos el determinante da en inglés, right? Decimos eh, en, en español o en salvadoreño, mejor dicho, decimos la casa, la tienda, el hospital, la esquina, la calle, right? Entonces, yeah. eh, en Estados Unidos, ese no tiene el mismo significado toda la vida. Right? Entonces, no lo vamos a utilizar siempre. Entonces, aquí podemos decir, it's on Main Street. Está en la calle principal. Esa es la traducción. Ahí está en la calle, sobre la calle principal. Right? O sea, que ponerle D sobre la palabra. Sobre la palabra, exactamente. Sobre la palabra. Y se oye como que estamos, a, lo que estamos tratando de hacer es eh, utilizar inglés de la forma más americana que se pueda. Right? We say it's on Main Street. 
Usted le puede poner da, it's okay, right? Pero no suena tan, tan americano como se debe, sino que es algo que estamos haciendo un calco del español al inglés. Por eso. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. La traducción. Very good. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. Very good. Good question. Now, I sent you two pictures to your WhatsApp, right? Right. You have the pictures? Okay, very good. In yes. the pictures on your cell phones, I sent you this. Look at the map, right? Se los envié por el mapa. Where is it? Look at the map and on the next slide, right? This map. Do you have the map? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Complete yes. the sentences with the prepositions in the box. So I have the English school is on Catherine Street, right? I'm using a preposition from the box, right? It's on, right? So this is used. I cannot use the preposition anymore, right? It's on Catherine Street. So tell me the answer for the following uh, sentences, right? So let's take a look at the map. Right. Ustedes miren el mapa y yo les presento aquí las, las oraciones. Esmeralda, what is the answer for number two? The hospital is the hotel, it says there. Mm, okay. Everyone, look at your maps. No solo Esmeralda, todos tenemos que tener la misma respuesta. Behind? Just, but right now, just Esmeralda, okay? Across from the hospital, the hotel. Yeah. Okay, read the complete answer. The hospital is across from the hotel. The hospital is across from the hotel. Okay, is that correct? Mm, the hospital is behind the hotel. Behind. Behind the hotel. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's behind. It's behind. Look at this. Right? Look at this. Look where the hospital is and look where the hotel is. Right? So the hospital, what would be, we can say behind, but if we say across, it's just making this, like this position here. Right? Like here. It's across okay. from the bookstore. Right? That's different. Very good. Let's see here another, let's see number two. Todos listos, por favor. Let's see number three. It's for my friend here, Nancy. The Mexican restaurant is on, is on Beatriz Street. And, and, and Fort Avenue. <laughs> okay, the Mexican <laughs> restaurant <Sorry>. is, <laughs> no, don't worry. On, um, mm -hmm. on Beatriz Street and Fort Avenue. Okay, but we already used uh, on, so we cannot use on. Mira, ya lo usamos. Um, Okay. Ah, okay. So we already use on. I'm have to on the corner of. On the corner of? No, we use behind, right? Okay. So the Mexican restaurant is, is? next. Next. Uh, next to. Across, across from Beatriz Street and Fourth Avenue. No, it cannot be across. No, on the from. corner of. Sorry, on the corner of que es en la esquina de on the corner, the corner of the corner of oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Is that correct? What do you think? It's correct. Okay. Now let's see number four. Miguel. The bank is on Barber Street. Mm. <laughs> uh, where is this bag? No, I can see. Oh, oh, oh. 
mindegy. Aha. Se está solito él, no next to across from <laughs> restaurant. Oh, pe. the bank is on Barbara Street at 6 and 7 Avenue. Uh -huh. Look at the location. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. The, the uh, next mm -hmm. to the Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. But sorry. I'm giving I... you ready 6 and 7th Avenue. <coughs> Yeah, and the bank is on Barbara Street next to a 6 and 7 avenues. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It can be next to 6, that's fine, or next to 7, but not next to both. Between, teacher. Between, okay, very good. It's between. Look at the two avenues, right? You look at the two avenues. The bank mm -hmm. is the in the bank, middle, Barbara Street. right? Yes. The bank is on Barbara Street, but it's between 6th and between 7th Avenue, right? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. What about the bookstore? Okay. Is the bookstore is next to the English school. The bookstore is next to the English school. Okay, very good. And what about the last one? We already, we just have one, right? The coffee shop is across from the park. It's across from across the park. Across from the park. Okay, very good. That's an applause for those, okay? <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah. <laughs> difficult, right? A little bit difficult, but we can do it, right? We can do it. So what are we gonna do? We have like eight minutes, okay? With this eight minutes, we're going to, I'm gonna show you here. Porque necesito que practique. Right. Right, now, it says here, right? Can you see that the, the information says, look at the map again, right? Where is each place? It says write two sentences. So the first one says the bookstore is on the corner of Catherine Street and Fifth Avenue. It's next to the English school, right? So what I'm going to do right now, because we only have eight minutes, is that I'm going to make groups and we're going to work and we're going to make, we're going to, I'm going to assign you one for each. All right, so let me see here. Can you take, can you see this picture right now? On my computer, can you see this picture? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. okay, good, yes. good. Perfect, I'm gonna send you right now the example. Vamos a hacer una por cada uno. So vamos a hacerlos todos. Pero solo, ustedes van a estar a cargo solo de una, de una oración. Vamos a hacer así como corriendo. Let's see, right, you have it there? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna assign you one per group. So Gladys, let me see here, no. Okay, Gladys, Jessica, and Miguel, okay? You are going to write these sentences for the supermarket. Solo el supermarket, okay? Angel, Nancy, and Saul, you're going to work yes. with the department store. Okay, teacher, Esmeral store. Yeah, Esmeralda, Thank Gabby, you, and Jesse, you're going to work with the Chinese restaurant, okay? So let's let's make the groups right now. Once, one, you're gonna have two okay. minutes only. Let's go ahead and do it. Thank you. Let's go.
coffee shop. So oh, yeah. under Catherine Sex. Sex. No tiene calle. O oh, sí tiene. Sí. Eh, sobre la, sobre la, across, across street, Catherine, ¿es correcto? Cuando dice, Jessica, ¿Sí? cuando dice está sobre, lo que vamos ¿Sí? a utilizar es la proposición on. 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 Uh -huh. Sí. Across Entonces, from sí. significa como que estuviera en la misma calle, pero uno enfrente del otro. Por ah. ejemplo, puede decir Intercontinental Hotel. Is across from Metrocentro. Metrocentro. Sí. Pues no sé Metrocentro, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, sí. <ríe> oh, qué anda la tica. <ríe> se, vale, se va a Metrocentro, un ejemplo real. Se va a Metrocentro y enfrente de Metrocentro está el, el hotel. Entonces dice, ¿Sí? International, Intercontinental Hotel Interne across from Metrocentro. But mm. Intercontinental Hotel is on Boulevard Street. Ok. Ok, good. Tienen 30 segundos. Ya nos vamos. Ok. Aquí sería entonces, eh, the supermarket is on 14th Avenue. 5th Fif Avenue. ¿Y finish? Me había salido, teacher. <laughs> ok. So, I need you to go ahead and uh, tell us the answers. You're supposed to write the answers on WhatsApp and the chat box. Both of them. Me envío un mensaje. Sí. Right? Ok. So, who has the supermarket? Let's see the supermarket. Vamos a escuchar por lo menos un ejemplo. Uh, the, Who supermarket, uh -huh. the supermarket is next to coffee. Se me olvidó el otro nombre. <laughs> next to coffee shop. Okay, let's see if that's true. The supermarket is next to the coffee shop. Coffee shop. Okay, but you're supposed to give me two sentences. This is com. Complete the sentences here. It says, write two sentences. Okay. Okay, what's the, the other? The, the supermarket is on 14th Avenue. 14th Avenue. 4th Avenue. Okay. 4th Avenue. Good. Very good. Right. Necesito que escriban las respuestas de esta actividad en el portal debajo del video que, que lo han visto, así como lo dijo Miguel de esa actividad y también que las envíen al WhatsApp, right? Envíen todas esas respuestas al WhatsApp. But you have to work with also gas station, hotel, post office, and drugstore, right? También hagan, hagan las mismas respuestas, las vemos mañana antes de seguir con la sección 4, right? Vamos a, ver, vamos a ver esas, las respuestas correctas de cada una de estas oraciones, ¿ok? También les puse en el chat de WhatsApp, les puse un video que dice Asking for and Giving Directions. Ese video dice ahí que es para niños, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad nos ayuda a nosotros porque tiene un montón de imágenes que nos ayuda a dirigirnos a cómo eh, dar esta información. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, very good. So, I need you to work with that. Eso va a ser lo primero que vamos a hacer mañana y vamos a entrar a la sección 4 y 5 que prácticamente nos habla del simple past. ¿Ok? Eso, en eso nos vamos a dedicar a partir de mañana después de esta actividad. ¿Do you have a question? No. No, teacher. Ok, guys. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful see night. See you tomorrow. See Thank you. you. Tomorrow. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.